Ito naman mga cars, the Mr. International 2023 candidates came from different corners of the world and they represent various cultures, traditions, and stories of triumph. Kaya naman this 2023 ay gaganapin muli ang taunang international pageant para sa mga male contestant for them to showcase not just their striking looks but also their intelligence, charisma, and dedication on making a positive impact to the world. Joining us this morning, the Mr. International 2023 candidates. Good morning and welcome to the Rise and Shine Filipinas. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. This first, this first question is for Mr. Philippines until Mr. Cuba. Can you tell us more about your journey leading up to Mr. International 2023 and what motivated you to participate in this pageant? My journey in the Philippines has been great. Uh, I've been preparing for all of my overall experience and such as my walk, my speech, my content and how I deliver myself. Mm -hmm. And it empowered me to express myself not only by my advocacy, by expressing what I believe in, what I pursue, but also how I treat others as well with respect. All right. How about Mr. Spain? Spain. I'm yes, Mr. Cuba will actually help translate it for Mr. Spain. Yes. Uh, can you repeat the question? Okay, um, can you tell us more about the journey leading up to Mr. International 2023 and what motivated you to participate in this panel? Can you tell us how the journey to this and what motivated you to participate in this concurso? Okay. Eh... Este concurso para mí es muy importante. Empecé en España en el concurso de Mr. International Spain. This contest for him has been very important because he started in the Spaniard contest. Creo que tenía bastantes posibilidades para representar a mi país en un certamen internacional. He said it's a uh, this, Creo que tengo cualidades. He believes he has the qualities that are necessary to represent his country in Spain. Mm -hmm. Y aquí estoy en Filipinas representando a Mr. International Spain. And here he is. Thank you. Spain. And Mr. Cuba, could you also answer the same question? <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, funny enough, I've competed in several pageants and I thought I was done competing. Mm -hmm. And then I decided to take on one more chance. And the funny thing is, once you leave a pageant, you never really take the sash off because you've, you've transformed into another person. Mm -hmm. So the preparation was a lot easier, uh, even though I had a short amount of time to do it. And one of the things I'm really looking forward to is just being a male role model to those who come. Very well said. All right. So, uh, Mr. Malaysia, can you share some of the experiences and challenges you've faced during your preparation mm -hmm. for this competition? All right, my boy Philippines. So, some of the challenges that I faced uh, whenever I was into pageant and du preparation during this competition, it will be my um, my walk, of course, because I was a bit stiff. I was actually uh, as I was an athlete before this. I was a bit stiff, so whenever it comes to the walk, it's a bit different. It's a new thing to me, so it's a bit of a challenge for me to get used to it. And so, but upon uh, training with my national director, so I overcame it, and here I am right now. Mr. South Sudan? South, uh, South Africa, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hi guys, I'm from South Africa. Um, yeah, some of the challenges leading up to this were, I guess I was a bit nervous traveling to another country first time being in Asia and the Philippines. Wow, what a beautiful place, by the way. Um, yeah, those are some of the challenges for me. And I mean, it was on short notice coming up to Mr. International. So I guess gathering the right outfits, meeting the right designers to get me the right outfits was quite challenging. But mm -hmm. I'm glad to be here and part of the 15th edition of Mr. International. Thank you so much, our Mr. Singapore. Yeah. All right, hello, Mabuhai Filipinas. Some challenges I faced is um, because my national director is also Malaysia's national director. So I have to travel to Sabah and train with him and do some video calls so I can train my question and answers. Mm -hmm. And even though we virtually, we do our catwalk through online. So yeah, that's my challenges. Okay, for Mr. Argentina and for Mr. USA, physical fitness is an important aspect of this competition. Can you share your fitness regimen and any health and wellness tips that you have for our viewers? Ella está diciendo que entrenar tu cuerpo es súper importante si puedes compartir algo que has hecho para entrenar tu cuerpo para este certamen. Muy buen día. Eh, good morning, Philippines. Eh, para mí creo que es muy importante justamente tener la disciplina eh, y la constancia. 
con siendo resiliente, justamente teniendo el entrenamiento constante. O sea, muchas veces nos adaptamos a dietas o entrenamientos muy estrictos, pero en realidad lo que es importante es ser resiliente y ser constante y tener una disciplina. He's saying it's one of the things is a lot of people follow the fat diet, but not people people don't follow the consistency. So it's the importance of having the consistency with all of your training. Mm. All right. Gracias. Okay, how about Mr. USA? All right, so most people, um, they count carbs, fats, and proteins. Mm -hmm. um, but what people don't really pay attention to is the minerals that is necessary to fill the human body. There's 106 <laughs> minerals that is necessary to fill the human body. So not only maintaining the structure, but the vitamins and minerals that allow the body to thrive and be healthy is very important. All right. Mm -hmm. So this question is for Mr. Philippines. Mm -hmm. How do you plan to use your platform and the Mr. International title to inspire and empower others, especially young men around the world? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I plan to use the platform of Mr. International to spread awareness to the special needs children with unprivileged families that to get better education and better substance as well with uh, supplies. And I'm planning to do that with this platform as well. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Mr. Spain. Uh, ¿Cómo vas a usar esta plataforma para inspirar al mundo con este certamen? Ok, creo que es muy importante saber, saber dar ejemplo, predicar, sobre todo para, para que la nueva generación tenga un objetivo claro, se van a ayudar. Uh, it's really important to practice what you preach and to be an example to the next generation. Okay. Sepan ellos ayudar a la nueva generación y tengan un objetivo, un propósito de vida. So that the next generation has a purpose to live and a reason to keep moving forward. Okay, for, que, yes. Okay, go ahead. Yo creo que es muy importante saber eh, inspirar a nuevas generaciones. It's extremely important to inspire the next generation. Thank you so much, Mr. Cuba, for being such a helpful translator to everyone. But this last question is actually for you. Yes. Okay, could you please invite our, it's not a question, but could you please invite our viewers to support the finals of Mr. International 2023 that's happening on October 20? Yes, so I would encourage you guys to follow us on the MI organization on Instagram. Come out to the contest. It's going to be on uh, October 20th, and mm -hmm. it's going to be in Baguio, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And you are going to get one of the greatest experiences of your life because we are revolutionizing male pageantry. So, love to see you there. We are very grateful to have you to translate you so for everybody. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, pagsama sa amin this morning, Austin Cabatana, Jose Antonio Campos, Calle, Abdul Rahman Lee, Anthony Borg. Gasser, Coffee, Api, Api, Api. <laughs> I did Handel and Angel Alive. Again, thank you so much and good luck. Thank you, to you and guys. good luck, guys.